I've been wanting to make some short profiles over some of the lesser known monkeys, so let's start with the Gelida monkey. Aside from Homo sapiens, these are the most terrestrial primates we know of, and they remind me a lot about Hank Green, because they've evolved a diet much different than other primates. They primarily eat grass, so much so that they even have adapted butt pads that help them sit around all day. And because this grass is so abundant in the Ethiopian highlands, it allows for massive herds. Some have had up to 1,200 members. A few other interesting things about this species, they curl their lip back and show their gums and teeth to intimidate others. And while other monkeys get really inflamed butts to show that they're ready to mate, the females of this species actually get blisters around their chest. There's also an interesting parallel to human evolution here because they're the last in their genus. But just like humans, we found evidence of past species. And some of those ancient ancestors were actually quite large. I'll try to post more of these. Sí, exactamente. Ese bello y hermoso pinípedo que acaban de ver le hacen falta sus medios de propulsión más importantes. ¿Por qué fue? Pues porque prácticamente un tiburón maco momentos antes, pues se los arrancó. Obviamente porque estaba buscando su alimento. Ahora, ¿qué es lo que tengo que decirles al respecto? Que es uno de los momentos más maravillosos que se pueden encontrar en internet o en algún video de naturaleza porque es la esencia de cómo la vida se alimenta de la vida. Y eso siempre va a ser impresionante, siempre va a ser increíble. Y sí, pobre pinípedo, pero hay que recordar que así es como funcionan las cosas en el mundo natural. Y aquí hay dos opciones, o alguien va a terminar comiéndoselo por completo, o simplemente terminará muriendo a la deriva. Que igual después las aves van a llegar a picotear y se van a alimentar de él, entonces siempre se aprovecha todo. If someone ever wanted to battle Good Notes and Notability, I would beat them in like 0.2 seconds. Good Notes is the best app, and I'm gonna show you why. 60 seconds, here we go. Again, this is my opinion, but after using both of them, I think that Notability isn't as organized. I think it's easier to use Good Notes. You have more flexibility, uh, adding pictures, adding lectures, being able to download textbooks. It's just so much easier on Good Notes. Now, again, if this is a discussion between Good Notes and just using a notebook, you know my opinion on that. It depends on what class you're taking. Notability has the pages that you like scroll down and they never end. I don't like that. I like how good notes is like one page and then you move on to the next. Quick overview of what the folders look like. So let's jump into it. First thing I love how you can put full textbooks on. You can literally draw all over it. Now let's say I want to put this picture on a note page. You can screenshot it, literally put it on a page and write all over it. This saves a lot of time when you can't draw all your diagram. Let's see some of my notes. See, sometimes I use the textbook. Sometimes I draw my own. Here's another one. Another one. My benzene bank. You can zoom in and write really tiny. I'll literally zoom into here. Ta-da. The sensor is better. It can write much smaller. Stuff like that. So I accidentally invented a terrifying monster, and then I'm going to share it with all of you since you guys were all so insistent that centaurs are insects, which they're not. They're still not insects. Um, and I was, but I was thinking about it, and I was like, how could you have um, centaurs evolve from anything? Because like they couldn't evolve from mammals, they couldn't evolve from insects. There's no way this thing could evolve. Um, but then I got to thinking about aggressive mimicry. Um, you know, like your angler fishes, your orchid mantis, your spider-tailed vipers. Um, basically, any animal that like has evolved a part on it that is meant to look like another animal in order to like lure a prey in. Um, and then I started thinking about like a an insect or a even like a horse type thing that evolves like a a cartilagey appendage that just looks like a person, but it's not a person. It's not sentient. There's no brain in there. It's just like a sack of cartilage that looks like a person. Um, and I am going to have nightmares about this. Um, so yeah, you're welcome. Nos vamos a Miami, pero tenemos un problema muy gordo. Que la maleta no cierra. Help me, please. When a student gives it the big one. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, snap it, snap it. So it's very hard to do. Oh. We've got experience. It's still frozen as well. So let me do it. Snap it. Come on then, get your gloves in, innit? Shall I do it? Come on, give it a Charlie Big Chips. Come on then. Oh, 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 oh. Get oh, your gloves on, innit? And then open it up. It's written all over your face. Baby, I can feel your halo. Pray it won't fade.